what's up guys and welcome to another tutorial today I'll be showing you what is the difference between a half adder a full adder and how to implement both of them on a breadboard okay so first of all suppose that here we have two bits we have the A and B and we want to add them okay so we have here uh, the output, the, the sum and the carry out. So zero plus zero is zero, and the carry out is zero. Zero and one, the sum is one, the carry is zero, and this as well, one, zero, and one and one, the sum is zero, and the carry out is one. Okay. Um. Have you seen this shape before or this shape before? Yes, you have seen them before in our previous videos. So this sum here is the XORing of the A and B. You see, notice here, and the C out here is the ending of both A and B. So basically, we have here two inputs A and B. The XORing of these two inputs gives us the sum, and the ending of these two inputs gives us the carry out. So this is basically this this logic here is basically a block with it, which is called the half adder. Okay, so the half adder has two inputs A and B and outputs and two outputs the sum and the carry out. So actually what we have made here is called half half adder okay so what is then a full adder actually the full adder is two half adders connected somehow to each other with an extra or gate so we are gonna see this now in a, a moment all right so assume now that we have the two inputs A and B and there is a carry N to, to, to this um, adding or summation process. Okay, so we still have two outputs, the S and the carry out. Okay, so let's make this together. We have here 0, 0, 0, so the sum is 0, the carry out is 0. 0, 0, 1, so sum is 1, carry out is 0, 0, 1, 0, sum is 1, carry out is... So basically to achieve this, we have used two half adders, as you see here, this is the uh, first half adder the second half adder okay so the first half adder adds the a and b and outputs the sum of them and the carry if there is as we've seen in the, the part um, before this and actually this sum we're gonna add it with the carry in to the process here so the, the final sum um, will be the addition of the A and B and the carry in. So this is the final sum S. And here we have a carry out 2 from this um, second operation. In order to obtain the final carry out, we have to OR the carry out of the first operation with the carry out of the second um, operation. So the ORing of them gives us the final carry out so this is 
basically called a full adder. Okay, let's now see how to implement both of them on a breadboard. Alright, so here we have um, XOR gate, AND gate, and an OR gate. And here we have three switches. Um, for example, this indicates A, B, carry in. And we have here, um, we'll be using the, these, uh, the first two LEDs here. The first one for SUM, the second for the CARRY. Okay, so first of all, let's make our half adder. So we have to XOR A and XOR A and B. Okay, and the output is going to be the sum and the second thing that we're gonna want to do is and both A and B. So uh, here we go. This is A. We're gonna connect it to the input of the and and B. We're going to connect it to the end as well. Okay. The output of this and gate um, is going to be the carry out. Okay, so that's it for the uh, half adder. So let's now connect our ground and VCC for the gates. All right, so now I'm going to connect my power source. Okay, here we go. Now let's test this out. So if A is 1, the sum is 1. If B is 1, the sum is 1. If both A and B are 1, the sum is 0 and the carry is 1. Okay. So now let's make our full adder. <clears throat> okay, so basically I'll be taking these off like this. Okay, so as I told you, we have the, the, the carry of the operation one, carry one is going to be ORed with the carry two. So I'm connecting the output C out one to an OR gate here and let's now connect the output of the XOR gate one which was SUM one to another XOR gate and connect our um, carry in switch to the other input of that XOR gate. Okay, so now the output of this uh, new XOR gate is the sum. As you can see. And the... And actually, we're gonna end the sum one ending the someone s1 with the carry in to see if there is carry to uh, carry out to or not so we're gonna do this now to the and gate okay and the output of this and gate is going to be the carry to or C out two that we're gonna connect to the OR gate as well, and actually the output of the OR gate is gonna be the um, final carry or carry out. I'm now uh, connecting the VCC and ground for the OR gate. Mm. 
and we're done. I'm gonna connect my power supply. And let's test this out. So, one, zero, zero, sum is one, carry out is um, zero, one, one, carry one, sum is zero, one, 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 sum one, carry one, and if we close this, one, one, so it's zero, one, and zero, zero, one is one. Okay, so this is basically it and everything is working fine as you can see here. Okay, so that's it guys for this tutorial. This was a tutorial on how to make a half adder, a full binary adder, what is the difference between them. So thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for more. Goodbye.